Welcome back to Shin's Kitchen. My friend told me about this Nigerian snack called Akara. I couldn't resist making this. Today, let's try making Nigerian Akara. I have some black eye beans which I bought online and I'm going to go ahead and measure two cups and <laughs> it's a bit much so if you're doing this by yourself or for yourself please use less half a cup of this bean would have been enough for one person I will add water to my bean so that it can soak for 30 minutes before I move on to the next step just to soften the skin so I have searched online and I found different methods of peeling beans because you have to remove the skin I added my beans to my food processor little by little and I will add some water just to cover it you should know this is my first time making this and it was quite troublesome <laughs> right here my water was spilling out of my food processor so i had to remove some and continue continue to chop my beans so that the skins will be removed i don't know how to explain this i have watched many videos <laughs> I removed some of the water and I went ahead and I pulse on and off until I think that the beans have been chopped enough for the skin to be removed easily. As you can see, as soon as I touch it, the skin is off. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that batch and continue to blend the rest. Next, I added water to the beans and you can see that the skin, they flow to the top. So I went ahead and strained it off. So continue this process until all the skin is gone. However, I ran into some difficulties and when I say difficulties, I was so stressed. This took me an hour because I didn't chop my beans properly so many of them still had on the skin so I had to go in and rub it and rub and da 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 and eventually after an hour I got off all of the skin off the beans and this is what it is looking like. I was so happy at this point. <laughs> what I learned from this mistake is to take my time and ensure that my beans are crushed properly or chopped properly. Right here, I have my blender. It's new. I've seen where people use the blender to chop the beans for to remove the skin. However, this blender is new, so I'm not used to it as yet. This is my first time using it. I added my beans to the blender. Trust me, the difficulties are still going to continue. I added my water, but I did not leave my beans to soak overnight. This was a mistake. As I said, this blender is new and it is in Chinese. So I had to take my time to figure out the instructions. So I added a little bit of water, but it, my, it wasn't blended. So I had to add a little bit more. So once I added a little bit more water, it was starting to move a bit. It is very important to soak your beans overnight because it will be soft and it wouldn't be so difficult to blend. I opened and I turned it a little just to see how it was going. I added a bit more water just to see if it can blend a bit faster and it did like it was going well at this point. I blended it for two minutes just to make sure that it was smooth as possible. This is what it was looking like. I removed my blended beans into my mixing bowl and I move on to blending the rest of the beans. So I'm not going to use all at this point. I'm using just half of the quantity. I added some red bell pepper for color and you will see how pretty it is looking. So everything is blended and ready. I made some mistakes because this should be thicker. However, because I did not leave my beans overnight, it was a bit difficult to blend so I added too much water. I will try to fix my mistakes. Just watch and see. 
I need to introduce air to my bean mixer, so I'll use my stand mixer. So I let it go for five minutes. Meanwhile, I will go ahead and cut my onions. I want my onions to be finely diced, so I'm going to take my time. For my pepper, I don't want it to be too spicy because this is my first time. So I'm going to remove the seeds because you know that the heat of the pepper is within the seeds, right? I'm going to chop my pepper very fine and make sure that it's evenly distributed and no one will have a big bite of pepper in their akara. I will check on my akara mixture and it's not looking good. It is not looking good. I put my mixer on high and let it go for an additional 10 minutes and it was starting to look okay like what I see online. So ensure that you mix it until it becomes the consistency that you want. Next, I will add my onions and my pepper and mix it for an additional 2 minutes. I almost forgot to add salt, so I added half teaspoon of salt. Beans are easy to season, so be careful. You can taste and adjust at this point. It doesn't taste too good, but you can taste and adjust. Finally, it was starting to look okay, so I can move on to the next step. To a frying pan, add some oil. You need to add as much oil as you will need to fry your akara. So I'm going to go ahead and test the first batch. I carefully spooned out my akara mixture and it was looking good. I saw online that if it floats, you are okay. So it was floating and I try to touch it with my fork and I say, oh no, 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 mistake. So once I saw that it was becoming gold and brown, I started to turn my akara. <laughs> and I must say, it was looking so good and the kitchen was smelling so good. I was like, wow, wow, wow. So making akara reminds me of frying dumplings. You have to control the heat as best as possible. If it is too low, it will suck up all of the oil. If it is too hot, it will fry too fast and not be done in the middle. So take your time, control your heat, and fry your akara. <laughs> My new favorite word. <laughs> Frying should take maybe 5 to 6 minutes. Once it's ready, remove it from the oil and place it on some paper towel and move on to your next batch. My Nigerian friends, please tell me what you think. Once I was finished, it was time to see my result. This was so good and crunchy. Like, listen, listen. Do you hear that crunch? Do you hear it? Please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more content. Bye-bye.